Not a very big puffer, actually the smallest from Africa. Water parameters are very vast. So if you can handle these parameters wherever you live, then you can handle this puffer fish. But let's get into some things that are key to this little guy or girl. They're originally from the Pool of Malabo. It's a large widening area of the lower Congo River in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And they're really quirky to get in the aquarium trade, which is why they're hard to find. But if you have a 55 gallon or more, some soft sand, rocky and established planted aquarium with you know some, some wood, etc., and you have really good filtration, highly oxygenated, fast flow, I'm talking fast. That's what the Congo River is all about. And you can provide those areas of, of slowness or dampening of it for them just to chill out. And then as far as feeding, it is a little different for me because I have to provide this little area. Look how fast he is. I shouldn't say fast. He's very quick. Uh, but these Congo Tetras are fast and swift. So I feed a lot of frozen food. I feed frozen brine, frozen mysis, bloodworms. And also you have to provide snails. The snail are really good. Let's keep out the trumpet snails, but snails are really good for them to trim their beak and that keeps them very healthy and active overall. It's like being a dentist. <laughs> and tank mates, as you can see, I have Congo Tetras and they have longer fins, but they're very, very fast. And so as long as you have fast moving, shorter finned fish, and you could play around with this a little bit, I guess, you should be perfectly fine. I've got buffalo head cichlids in here. I've got uh, Shudenai catfish in here and I also well I have two different types of buffalo heads and the in the Congo Tetras and this spotted Congo puffer does amazing it, he really does and Dwight loves his home so if you can do all of these things I don't see why you couldn't keep this very unique non-aggressive except maybe to another similar puffer than one of these guys. So my thoughts from observations and practical fish keeping is really anybody can keep this fish. They are a little pricey. I got mine from Aquarium Fish Depot, amazing place. But overall, acclimation is key. They can puff up, not taking them out of the water. There are these little itty bitty tidbits, having areas for them to hide and feel safe and so that they can ambush the snails and maybe the frozen food. But Dwight here has taken pellets and some flake. They do nibble on plants, so make sure you have some pretty hardy plants like Anubius and things like that. And honestly, just keep an eye on them. So if you've got the time and you're looking for a fish full of personality that, well, is slightly expensive but not really dominant in the aquarium hobby then why not the spotted congo puffer not a lot of aggression very small awesome little guy do me a favor leave a comment you ever think of owning one or what's a fish you've ever wanted to own like this video subscribe to this channel i greatly appreciate it you know what's next